The Bible told us that wisdom is profitable for direction. Now, have you ever asked yourself this question before? How do you make profit from wisdom? Are you there? Because you can be wise and yet there are still some aspect of your life that is shady. There are still some aspect of your life that looks as though you lack wisdom. It's possible. Now, if the Bible says wisdom is profitable for direction, what does it mean? It therefore means that the profit you make from your wisdom is depending on your obedience to the directions and the instructions that the wisdom is giving to you. Because every wisdom has the ability to instruct. Every wisdom has the ability to move. Are you there? So, if you do not obey the instructions of wisdom, you will not make profit from that wisdom. Are you getting what I'm saying? For example, you can have, you can have um, a wise man that is poor. It's possible for a wise man to be poor. Whereas, all you need to be rich, all you need to become wealthy is wisdom. But it's possible for a wise man to still be poor. He may be wise, are you there? And be poor. And yet the same poor man, you cannot defeat him when it comes to war. Are you there? It will mean that the man is yielding positively to the instructions of wisdom according to fighting. And that's what makes him always win in his battle. But because he is not obedient to the instructions of wisdom with respect to wealth, he will remain poor. So these are the things we must understand. Wisdom will always instruct. Wisdom will always give instructions. So it is your obedience to the instructions of wisdom, are you there, in a particular direction that makes you, uh, that, you know, that, that gives you a testimony in that direction. For example, you can be wise and yet you are failing in your department. You are failing in your school as a student if you are not yielding to the instructions of wisdom with respect to academics. By your wisdom, you can follow God. By your wisdom, you can be on fire for God. Either because you are yielding to the instructions of wisdom with respect to maintaining fire on your altar. But because you are not yielding to the instructions of wisdom with respect to your academics, you will be on fire, yet you'll be having carryovers. You'll be on fire, yet your results will, not be, will be nothing to write about. Either so we have to be wise. There are wise men who, by their wisdom, have become wealthy, but their marriage is not working. Their relationship is not working. Why? It, it is all because of disobedience to the instructions of wisdom. So by, by wisdom, a man can become wealthy, but if he's not yielding to the instructions of wisdom with respect to relationship and marriage, his marriage may have problems. Our marriage may not stand. So this is what the Lord wants us to know. I pray the Lord brings, you know, the Lord bring you into understanding of this even better in the name of Jesus. God bless you.